I like him. Kyle's a real upstanding citizen. <laughs> Welcome to Eudora. I'm going to show you the story of a guy with a dream and his friends who are willing to help him achieve it. I'll take it to you. My dream. Yeah. Perfect lawnmower for lawnmower racing is my dream. My name is Cotton Jones. That camera off me! Pretty much now I just work on them here and there. Uh, I guess you could say you know, kind of a lawnmower connoisseur, I guess. Or what do you hope to add to this this lawnmower? I'm gonna drive everyone around, you know. Do you know anything about fixing up lawnmowers? I know a little bit about it, but not much. But we'll see what happens. Oh. And I'm screaming at my brother on the cell phone, far away. Going to Rodney's to find a few um, mowers, old mowers that we might be able to salvage and use. For there's, a, there's a red one, two new shirts, black one, two and a yellow new, one. Um, I don't know what they're called. I don't think they're John Deere. Do they all run? Uh, I already ate. No, but we can scrap and scrap and make. Do you believe Rodney even has any kind of good mowers at his house? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Actually, I'll answer that one. No. <laughs> no. We're just gonna make a look at lawn mowers. We're gonna try and fix them up and get to a race. That's Kelsey's little sister. How old is she? Ten? How old is Rodney? Nineteen, I think. That was Haley. She won. She's doing what I was doing. Rodney's like, we could be up for The crew had arrived at Rodney's house in search of a possible mower. And yes, that is Rodney's dad. I didn't know if he was... But that other one runs. Yeah. I mean, you just gotta... You just gotta... You brought carburetor. I know. Oh, well, enough batteries you get. They're back there, aren't they? Yeah, I think I took the one, the motor out of this one. I switched it over into this, but this one shouldn't have a motor. Oh. I have all these trains. You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Hell yeah. Awesome. I think. Just watch out for the barns fall. See all the nasty. Well, yeah. I can't remember uh, which key it was. Well, just try one in here. So now they had their motor, but starting it was going to be a completely different obstacle. Okay. Yeah. We'll pull the plug and, and I'm sure it's got gas in it. See if that's got gas in it. Is it old? It's it's but I got some gas right up there. Just sniff it. I can smell some, but I don't crack. <laughs> What have you accomplished today? Uh, yeah. We got it over here. And? This how strong Nothing I am, happened. guys. They took it to Kyle's house and then started taking off the deck so it would be faster. We can check them if they're good or not. What's the status right now? Hey dude, clean this thing. I'm not getting it started right now, so. <laughs> when the lawnmower wouldn't turn over, everyone had their own idea of how they were going to make it start. Open pole started like a little yeah. lawnmower, but it, they don't think it's worth a try. They don't understand that they have to have two batteries, one from the car to start the other battery for the lawnmower. They have both batteries sitting there and they're trying to hook it straight up to the electric part. It's not going to work. Come on, Jen.
And, uh, I guess uh, Max could drive around within the back of his truck for a while <laughs> until we work on it next. <laughs> we got tomorrow morning to sit in the back of your truck. No, it's not going to be sitting in the back of my truck. There's your uh, October Gamble Kirby. We got the deck off, we cleaned it up, and we almost got to turn over a few times. Word. Kyle was positive about the progress. Man. He was just about the only one. I don't know, I, I just don't like it. Straight up? Straight up. What are you doing with this lawnmower? It's a piece of sh And uh, I think we're going to take it down to the boat dock and push it into the river. The next day was filled with many of the same problems. But even more so, it was filled with hard work. Takes one little piece of metal to break a window. What? There's all kinds of pieces of shit back here, and you slam up against it. Weren't you the one saying this isn't gonna break a window with a no, quarter? I, what, yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, we were riding in a car, and you're like doing something with the quarter. You're like, that's not gonna break a window. It's no, you slamming this mower up against here. Here, this will crack a window. No, it won't. You want bet? Yeah. Okay. Well, where am I taking this? That was a very good question. Uh, we're gonna go pawn it off on somebody. We're gonna dump it out at Nolan's house or dump it off somewhere in the, out in the country just so it's not in the back of my truck. Yeah, it's gonna be Kyle. So if it ends up out at Nolan's and Nolan gets really pissed, Kyle's at fault. Oh, whose house do you want us to take it to? Nolan's. So where do you want us to take it? Nolan's house. It does. Yeah, you heard the man. We're taking it to Nolan's house. And if not, we're dumping it off the Green Bridge. You guys remember Nolan, don't you? This lawnmower project. Right, so he gets this lawnmower for free. Biggest piece of shit you've ever seen in your life. Biggest rust bucket. I don't even know. I it makes me sick to look at that thing. That thing, and he wants to take it to my house. Not gonna happen. Not gonna. Not gonna happen. <laughs> it's smoking. Yet again, the lawnmower wouldn't start, and our workers' minds began to wander.